Welcome. In this video, I will show you how to create Magnet's media style motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. So here I have this clip that I'm going to be using as the inspiration. So from here, this clip that you see, it has like a background moving clouds and then it has this house and then plants over here and then also this boy. So I'm going to be recreating something similar. So let's just see this once again. So you can see it transitions and then zooms out. And then we have this clouds moving, the house and the trees also zooming out a little bit. And then this boy come again. And then also you can see that this image is also animating. So here you can see slight animation to this boy as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So for the footages and the clips, I've used two sources. So first one is Pexels. You can just go over to Pexels and download any background for the clouds. You can just search any stock footage for clouds and use that. But for the this boy and this uh, house in the background we have over here, uh, this looks like it is AI generated. And I also used a tool. So let me just show you. I'm using playground.com. This is a tool that helps you generate AI images. So it gives you like uh, 50 images per day. I have this uh, prompt for the house, which is called a house from the 1800s Victorian style 4K realistic. So you can use this same prompt to generate something similar like this. And then I also had this boy and uh, the prompt I used for this is poor boy from the 1800s Victorian style 4K realistic. So you can use both of these prompts in order to generate something similar and in order to remove the background from both these images you can see it, this also has a background we only need the boy over here we don't need the background and also for the house over here we only need the house and the trees but not the background because we need to add the clouds in the background so in order to achieve that you can head over to this website called remove dot bg so you can upload your images over here and this will remove the background from your images so i already went ahead and did that and let me just show you the preview i came up with of these elements so here you can see something quite similar we have the background um, the moving clouds in the background and then this house zooming out and then this boy also and uh, you can see that the image is also animating a little bit so I have these elements over here. You can just go ahead, do that, and then get back to DaVinci Resolve, import those assets over here. So the first thing is the background over here, which is the clouds. So this is just a simple moving clouds video I picked up from Pexels. And just, just right click, click on this link clips, and then remove this audio because we don't need that at the moment. And this is the clip that we have right now. So I only need like five seconds so let's just keep this short so let's just keep this at five seconds and now let's drag in our house so here you will see we have this house make sure that this is of the same length and then we can start zooming this in so somewhere around here like this and then change the y-axis so that this is a little bit down and our Clouds are also visible, so I think this will be okay at minus 400. And if you play this, you will see that we have these moving clouds in the background and then this house. Here we have this blur on the background, as you can see. House is not that blur, but on the sides, you can see there is a blur because the person over here is being highlighted. So in order to do that, all you can do is just simply click on this house and then head over to the Fusion tab. And here you will see we are getting that uh image and now we can simply search for blur so make sure you have your median one selected press control space and then search for blur so here you can use different kinds of blur but the one that i'm going to be using is this radial blur just to give that a radial kind of blur effect and if you add this and then make sure that this is connected both of these are connected and now also add in an ellipse for this and connect it to the radial blur and go over to the ellipse and make sure you click on this invert 
So now just simply drag this width and the height so that it only covers the house and the whole background is blur. And now select your radial blur and then change the smoothness to somewhere around 0 0.35. And now let's head back to the fusion, uh, sorry, the main timeline, and you will see that we're getting that radial blur over here. Okay, so now we're going to animate this house. So we're going to zoom out, and you can just simply go over to this and create a keyframe at zoom and then at position. And then let's say one second later, we can create another keyframe and then head over back to the first keyframe that we created and over here you can just zoom this in change the position a little bit like this it was somewhere around here and let's play this and see how this looks so this is how the animation appears at the moment so from here up till the end we also want just a slight zoom out to be happening so go over at the end and then again change the zoom position so that this zooms out a little bit Okay, and then play this and you will get that moving house, uh, zooming out house animation from this. And now for the final one, which is this boy over here, we can move this in, let's say right where our house is zooming out. So we can start animating this from this position. And for this one, just go ahead and create a keyframe at position. And then let's say at seven, just one se second later, we can create another keyframe and back to the first one. And then just like we did for the house, we can move this. And this is only for the position on the Y axis. So we're not going to zoom, zoom this in or out. And let's see how this looks. All right, so here you can see we're getting that animation just like Magnus Media does. But now the last thing, the final thing to be done over here is just a slight movement for this boy. So make sure you have this footage selected or this image selected of the boy and then get over to the Fusion tab. And over here, make sure you select the media in and then search for Grid Warp. And over here we have this Grid Warp. So once you have the grid warp selected, go over to the destination and then over here, click on selected. And then from here, you can select these points and then you can slightly move them out. And you will see that you will get that movement. Let's create a keyframe at zero and you can just simply click over here, create a keyframe for the mesh animation. Then head over to, let's say 40, then slightly, slightly move this in, move this out. And then over at, let's say 60, let's move this right here. Then go over at 80 and then select these up till this and then slightly move this. And then go over at, let's say 105 or 110 and move this right here. So here we will get that animated movement in the, in the boy. And then if you go back to the main time and, and now we can see how this looks all together. So let's play this. So here you can see we are getting that magnets media type animation and this is just a beginner friendly kind of video. We are just covering the basics of what they do in their videos. Of course, they do a lot more in their videos, but this is just a short one, a simple one for all those who want to learn how to do the same style that they do. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.